childhood should be a time of innocent joy, when the grown-ups get to deal with the big stuff for you. But some kids have to deal with challenges beyond their years. Life can be an uphill battle for anyone born different, but their unique conditions are what makes these kids so inspirational. Grab the tissues, this is gonna be a tearjerker. Abby and Aaron Delaney Whether they're identical or not, twins are linked by more than meets the eye. But in some rare cases, like that of Abby and Aaron Delaney, they're also connected physically. These beautiful conjoined twins were born with a condition called craniopagus, meaning the tops of their heads were fused together. Conjoined twins like this usually begin as a single fertilized egg, but if the egg partially splits or divides and then joins back together, it develops into two conjoined fetuses. It occurs once in every 50,000 to 100,000 births, but less than 2% of cases are joined at the head. Abby and Aaron didn't just share the tops of their skull, they also shared an important brain vein called the sagittal sinus. This meant separation was going to be risky, but after an 11-hour surgery and plenty of treatment, they pulled through. Today, they're two very happy, very bright, and very separate little girls. Mahendra Ahirwar Do you ever wish you could see the world through someone else's eyes? Well, if you had swapped perspectives with Mahendra Ahirwar, your world would have been turned upside down. Mahendra was an incredible young boy who suffered from congenital myopathy. It's a muscle disorder he was born with, which left the muscles in his body thin, weak, and terribly underdeveloped. Congenital myopathy affects approximately 1 in 25,000 people. It may not be the rarest of conditions, but Mahendra suffered from an extreme variation. The muscles in his neck were so weak that they didn't have the strength to lift his head, leaving it to hang at a 180-degree angle. The condition also extended to his arms and legs, meaning he couldn't walk. Because he was heartbreakingly light, Mahendra's family had no choice but to transport him around in a basket. To improve his quality of life, Mahendra was given surgery in 2016 to implant a small metal rod in his neck, which finally helped him see the world the right way round. But just eight months later, he sadly passed away. I don't know about you, but I'm definitely looking at the world from a different angle right now. It's stories like this that really bring a tear to your eye. So if you're a fan of the fields, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. I put out new videos every day covering the most amazing stories and facts from all over the world. Now that I've given you a chance to dry your eyes, let's get back to those incredible kids, shall we? Katie Renfro we live in an age where it seems doctors know just about everything about the human body, unless you have Katie Renfro's mysterious medical condition. When her mom was just six months pregnant with young Katie, doctors discovered she was going to be born with megalencephaly. This is a disorder that causes overgrowth of the brain, making it much heavier than average. But after she was born, Katie began to display symptoms that aren't usually associated with the condition. To this day, doctors can't explain why her face has grown so big, why she suffers from as many as 50 seizures a day, or why she can't walk or talk. To help manage the condition, this little champion has undergone many painful surgeries, from making her cheeks, tongue, and ears smaller to brain surgery. But no matter how many tests the doctors run, nothing has brought them any closer to a diagnosis. In fact, it's so rare that doctors may end up naming the condition after Katie. But they haven't given up hope just yet, and neither has her incredibly loving family. Versavia Borengonchavara Some people wear their hearts on their sleeve, but 10-year-old Versavia Borengonchavara wears hers on the outside of her chest. She has a condition called pentalogy of Cantrell, a congenital defect that can affect the development of the sternum, diaphragm, heart, or abdominal wall. But Versavia was born with one of the most extreme forms of the condition called ectopia cordis, 
where her heart formed outside of her chest walls. It left her heart almost completely exposed and only covered by a thin layer of skin. So thin, in fact, that you can even see her heart beating through it. This condition is incredibly rare and only affects around 5.5 in every 1 million live births. This condition is usually fatal, and just 5% of affected newborns survive when ectopia cordis is thrown into the mix. But Versavia has defied all odds, making her survival all the more amazing. Unfortunately, the complexity of Versavia's condition has led doctors to rule out any form of corrective surgery for now. But that hasn't stopped this brave-hearted little girl from living her life to the fullest. Adalia Rose How old would you guess YouTuber Adalia Rose is in this video? While she may look wise beyond her years, she's actually only 13 years old. Although she doesn't sound like it. Just listen to her voice. Warm, I don't like it, but it is what it is. You see, Adalia suffers from progeria, a unique genetic condition that causes her body to age rapidly. So rapidly that it's estimated progeria patients biologically age about 10 years in a single year. What this means is that while children like Adalia look normal at birth, they develop aged-looking skin, they don't grow much in size, and their arteries harden prematurely. It's this hardening and narrowing of the arteries that gives kids like Adalia a top-end life expectancy of just 21 years old. Even though she has a body of a woman far beyond her years, Adalia enjoys things most kids her age do, like gaming, recording TikToks, and getting her nails done. You go, girl. Zoe Lush Parents joke about wrapping their kids up in bubble wrap to stop them from coming to harm, but in Zoe Lush's case, that wouldn't be such a bad idea. You see, Zoe suffers from osteogenesis imperfecta type 3, a genetic disorder characterized by increased bone fragility, low bone mass, and susceptibility to bone fractures. It makes her little body so fragile that the slightest jar can cause a break, almost like she's made of glass. Simple activities like walking or standing require specialist frames and equipment like this. Even when she was still in the womb, doctors could see multiple fractures throughout her tiny unborn body. Although the prevalence of osteogenesis imperfecta is estimated between 1 in 10,000 to 20,000 births, it's unknown how many are classed as type 3. Can you imagine what it must be like to have that many breaks and fractures at such a young age? Just thinking about it makes my bones hurt. But the fact that little Zoe can still smile through all the pain makes this kid a real superhero. Abby and Brittany Hensel Do you have siblings that you have to share everything with? It can be such a pain. But do you think you'd be able to share a body with your sibling? It may sound like a joke, but for Dicephalic Parapagus conjoined twins, there isn't a punchline. These absolutely amazing humans are fused side by side and are joined at the pelvis. This means they often have two heads but share one body, along with four to seven limbs and most of their vital organs, like Abby and Brittany Hensel. Born in 1990, these sisters only had a 1 in 30 million chance of living beyond 24 hours. It all depended on how their organs were combined within their tiny body. They have two hearts, two spines, two sets of lungs, and more obviously, two heads. It was this separate development of their upper bodies that helped them pull through. And since then, they've been enjoying life with double the fun. They can each control their own side of the body, meaning they have to cooperate and coordinate on just about everything from walking to drinking. But they take tests separately, have different interests, and even different driving licenses. If they get pulled over when they're driving, who do you think gets the ticket? It's hard to imagine having to share your life so intimately with your sibling. Have any of you guys had unusual and inspiring childhoods? Or know anyone who has? Maybe you overcame something as a child which made you who you are today. 
If you feel like sharing, why not let me know in the comments below and I might even give back to those who inspire me the most. Xiao Hui Kong In 2009, Yi Langji gave birth to a baby boy in China's Hunan province. But for hours after birth, she had to beg doctors to let her see her son. And when they eventually showed her, her whole body went numb. Zhao Hui Kong had been born with a bilateral transverse facial cleft, which meant the front of his skull hadn't managed to fuse together. This left him with two large gaps spanning from his mouth to his ears, making it look like he was wearing a mask. Transverse facial clefts like Hui Kong's have a prevalence that varies between 1 in 60,000 to 1 in 300,000 live births. When his mother sought treatment for Hui Kong in 2010, his story was heavily reported and managed to raise 400,000 yuan, around $60,000 at the time, in donations for life-changing surgery. Hui Kong underwent two successful operations, and while the initial results looked promising, his family was told it would take 10 years to see if his facial bones would grow normally. But just take a look at the last images recorded of Hui Kong from 2015. The gaps on either side of his face are gone, and even though there seems to be some slight deformity, he appears happy and healthy. And at the end of the day, that's all that really matters. Jackson Buell It takes some serious willpower to be able to make it through life missing a part of your body. And in the incredible case of Jackson Buell, that couldn't be more true. You see, this little hero was born with a severe brain abnormality called microhydrin encephaly, meaning his brain stopped forming a few weeks into the pregnancy. It's an extremely rare hereditary condition that affects less than one in a million children at birth. And sadly, there is no cure. By the time Jackson was born, he was missing approximately 80% of the brain he should have had. Doctors initially told his parents that he probably wouldn't be able to see, hear, or talk as the areas of the brain controlling those processes were thought to be missing. But against those odds, Jackson was able to do all of those things, albeit in a limited capacity. It seems those parts of his brain were there, just on a much smaller scale. While he enjoyed a happy life full of love and support, Jackson sadly passed away in early 2020 at just five years old. But incredibly, he managed to defy his doctors every step of the way. What a little fighter! Baby Chanko in 2017, baby Chanko from Japan was born with one incredibly unusual feature, a full head of hair. By four months old, it had grown into a hilariously unruly quiff. And by six months old, where most babies are still sprouting their first curls, Chanko's parents were having to give their baby regular haircuts to keep her miraculous mane in check. Her glorious head of hair took the internet by storm amassing her over 340,000 Instagram followers, as well as her very own commercial for Pantene hair products, and all by the time she was one year old. Kind of makes you reevaluate your own life achievements, doesn't it? If only I'd used more conditioner in my youth. But all lamenting aside, how on earth did Chanko end up with such luscious locks? Apart from genetics, the exact influences of baby hair before and after birth is still a slight mystery. Although, one study from 2006 found an unexpected link between the severity of a mother's heartburn during pregnancy and the amount of hair her baby was born with. I wonder how many antacids baby Chanko's mom needed before her adorable fur ball arrived. Victoria Komada the biggest challenge most kids face these days is keeping up with the latest TikTok trends. But four-year-old Victoria Kamada has far bigger fish to fry thanks to her one-in-a-million deformity. She had bilateral tibial hemimalia, a condition so severely affecting her lower limbs that both of her legs were bent backwards. Expensive surgery was the only way to help save at least one of her legs. 
and after raising $234,000, her miracle treatment gave her the ability to walk for the very first time. The first nine-hour operation inserted a series of pins into her left leg whilst amputating the right above the knee. Her second surgery fused the bones in her left leg together to help strengthen it. And finally, Victoria was able to take her first steps. With a prosthetic leg attached, the youngster can now walk, run, and play thanks to the life-changing surgery. There's certainly no turning back now for this little champion. Milagro Seron. Can you guess what the condition Sirenomelia involves? No idea? What if I called it by its less sciencey name, Mermaid Syndrome? This condition is an extremely rare congenital disorder characterized by anomalies in the lower spine and legs. It causes them to partially or fully fuse together, giving the appearance of a mermaid tail. It only occurs in about 1 in 60,000 to 100,000 births, and one of those was Milagro Seron. She was born in Peru back in 2004, and as you can see, she was delivered with her legs completely fused from hip to ankle. What's more, she only had one fully formed kidney. Although many babies with the condition die in the five days after their birth, Milagros amazingly survived. She underwent many surgeries to separate her legs, and from there, she went from strength to strength. She began to walk and dance, living a happy life like any little girl should. But her chronic kidney problems led to her tragic passing in 2019. While many babies suffering from sirenomelia don't survive beyond 48 hours, Milagros was given 15 incredible years of life. But this little mermaid has finally become an angel. Rama Haruna Rama Haruna was just like any other happy and bright young teenager, but she had an extraordinary background of strength and grit that stemmed from a mysterious medical condition. Rama was born in Kano, Nigeria, and at just six months old, her arms and legs stopped developing properly, leaving her almost completely limbless. She never learned how to crawl or walk, and as her head outgrew her baby-sized body, she couldn't even sit herself upright. The only way she could balance herself was by living in a plastic bowl, which propped her into a position where she could eat, see, and be carried around. Despite her family selling almost everything they had to afford medical help, Rama's condition baffled the local doctors. Because her family were stricken by poverty, Rama and her brother Fahad would beg for alms on the streets of Nigeria, and they used the plastic bowl to transport her around. Sometimes, they even placed the bowl on a wheelchair donated to the family to give her more mobility. But her severe disability didn't stop Rama from dreaming of one day starting her own grocery business. Tragically, her dreams never became a reality and she passed away at just 19 years old in 2016. I hope that one day we'll hear of a grocery store opened in her memory. Hong Hong It may sound far more common than you'd expect, but one in every 700 to 1,000 babies in the world are born with extra digits. The condition is called polydactyly, and in many cases, it's just one or two extra fingers or toes. But one extraordinary child called Hong Hong from China was born with a grand total of 31 developed digits. That's right, his hands and feet were made up of 15 fingers and 16 toes. In some cases, polydactyly can manifest as tiny bumps or firm pieces of tissue that doctors amusingly refer to as nubbins. But there's nubbin wrong with Hong Hong's fully formed fingers and toes. It's incredible to see just how perfect they are. Interestingly, Hong Hong's mom also has polydactyly, as you can see by her 12 fingers. The condition is one of the most common hereditary limb anomalies, so it's not entirely surprising little Hong Hong has more than the average number of piggies to take to market. Do you know of anyone who was born with extra digits on their hands, feet, or both? Fu Ongwei 
When viewed head-on, Fu Wenguei appears to be a normal adolescent boy, but from a different angle, it's pretty clear that something's not quite right. At the age of just six years old, he was diagnosed with congenital scoliosis, a spinal deformity which is caused by abnormally formed vertebrae that affect the curvature of the spine. Sadly, this condition is prevalent in 1 in 10,000 newborns and doesn't become apparent until their adolescent years. When Fu reached 15 years of age, it became clear that his vertebrae hadn't just curved, they'd also added a few inches to his neck. According to his father, Fu had 10 vertebrae in his neck rather than the usual 7. The pain stemming from this condition was immense and caused poor Fu a whole variety of mobility issues. Fortunately, doctors from the Chaoyang Hospital were able to formulate a surgical plan to help reduce the length of his neck. There haven't been any updates since this was announced, so let's keep our fingers crossed that Fu's neck reduction was a success. Although there are probably a few situations where that extra length could come in handy. Tio Satrio Fighting spirit isn't something you just acquire, it's something you're born with. Don't believe me? Then just ask Tio Satrio. Despite having no limbs whatsoever, Tio from West Java, Indonesia has learned how to write and even play games on his PlayStation. How does he manage that? I can't even play one-handed, let alone no-handed. Using his chin and part of his shoulder, Tio can easily hit up a combo on the controller. And by using his mouth to grip the pen, he can write so fast that he keeps up with his classmates at school. But it wasn't always games and good news. Tio's mother Mimi wasn't told about her son's condition until the day after he was born. Even though it shocked her at first, she has learned to adjust to Tio's unique condition, helping give him the very best life she can. Although it's helped him thrive, he does still need help getting around, bathing, and putting on clothes. But don't worry, those are three things that most PlayStation gamers struggle with. Which of these incredible kids have inspired you the most? And do you know of anyone living with unique conditions just like them? Let me know in the comments below and thanks for watching.